excited about this episode. As always, I'm joined by my BFF for our fashion icon, Busted. And my little hubby will be of 13 years alone. Hey, babe, I'm having a fierce time here. <laughs> <laughs> and an incredible artist who finds himself sometimes trapped in the role of costume designer, but actually encompasses many, many different forms of artist freak in the best possible way. Please welcome my dear friend, Machine Dazzle. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are bringing it. I can't. I, I can't. You can't until you put an eye out. It's okay. Be careful. Be careful. I'm always careful. Oh my God. This is everything. It literally like a rainbow. Thank you. It really is everything. Shut it down. Hashtag rainbow everything. Shut down. Bevel, bevel. Okay. So our first topic is inspiration. Machine, who makes you wet? <gasps> well, you know, the people who really make me wet are just random people that I find on the street digging through the trash. You know, I love a good found object, and I love a good trashy moment. And I just love, I mean, I have seen people pulling clothes and, you know, all kinds of things, like used wigs and, like, disgusting balloons and, like, you know, beachcombers, people who, like, search for treasure on the beach. They always have weird objects hanging off of their purse, and I really like that. I think it's, you know, it's economical, it's eco-friendly, and I think it's the wave of the future. Hashtag found objects. Okay, the next topic is trend. Now, if you could take a trend, poke its eyes out, throw it in the dirt, what would that trend be? You know, I'm really tired of that trend. You see it often on t-shirts. It says, keep calm and blah, blah, blah. Um, if I see one more t-shirt that tells me to keep calm and do something, I'm going to teach them how to be calm permanently. <laughs> and let's say you could bring back one trend. Like if you could resuscitate, start the heart beating again of one trend, what would you bring back? Oh my god. I would totally resurrect Michael Jackson as a trend. Totally. Oh my god. The glove, the sock, the moonwalk, like everything. Not that the moonwalk ever really went out of style, my dude. But god, I just love that look. The little, you know, red jacket with all the zippers and like the greasy hair. I really love Michael Jackson as a trend. I miss that. The parachute pants, the little things. You know the ones I mean. Thriller, thriller, zombie. Yeah, Michael Jackson. You've busted. It's made a career out of a zombie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's funny because when I think of you, I often want to beat it. Okay, so the next topic. <laughs> the next topic is. Really, Queen? Now we combed through some archival photos and found this <laughs> lovely. Oh, I don't even know if it's a ah. well, it's up to you. And it's a um, naked clown with Cher's wig. No, oh, I don't know. What is that? Please explain. I, I like, well, I'm not really sure what I was thinking, but I'll tell you about this. Okay. I crashed the stage. Taylor Mack was performing, and I came out with a cream pie. And I ended up having, like, you know, I totally, like, creamed an audience member, but then it, like, went everywhere, and then I ended up slipping on the cream, and I fell on the floor, and my butt came out. Can <laughs> somebody took that picture? Can I see that thing? <laughs> Honey, you love cream pies, don't you? I do, babe. <laughs> How does mine look? <laughs> Sometimes okay. busted likes to then present a picture of me. That's true. Because she's oh, evil. You're just to, you know, she tries to embarrass people, so we have to do tit for tat. And oh. this, I think, is a winner. Oh. Whoa. <gasps> oh. Yeah. What did it say on the back? Jackie oh. B took that photo and wrote that. And that's like, like can I say 1995? It says, Foxy Lady, question mark, with a nice fro, Sherry. I'll check that. 
Yeah, this was a, a 95. Back in the day when people still <laughs> used film. Now, I can, I have to, do have to point out that that shirt with the foxy stones is a kitty boot couture. Okay, okay So okay. that's pretty amazing. And the belt is Mark Happel, who's a guest, and um, that is backstage at the St. Genesius Theater in Los Angeles, where we were doing a play together, and it's 1995. And I'm smoking right before having to sing. And our last topic machine is Hall of Fame. Now, if you could induct one person, living or dead, fictional, non-fictional, imagined, any one person, who would you induct to the Hall of Fame? Oh my God, this is so hard. There's so many. And just one. Oh my God, you know, I would really induct Justin Vivian Bond. All the way, all the way. I know it was with Justin Vivian Bond that I really found myself as a designer and realized that I love a good, trashy, gorgeous, and instant moment. Whether it is costume, lighting, set, cream pies on the floor, that was the one, Justin Vivian Bond. Honey, you really uh, attached to that photo there. It's huh? crazy. Yeah. Nuts. I know, it's, it's, gross. it's silly. There might be some more. You're interested. I'll just hold on to that one. Okay. okay. So, I want to thank you so much, studio audience. Can we please have a round of applause for Machine and Basil? Thank you. Thank you so much for having Thank you. Hi, I'm Sherry. And I'm Chris, the Greek. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day, Sherry. I was hoping you'd forget. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling it this year.